Welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 13, Python and CSV files. Content of this video is difference between CSV and XLS, XLS file. What is the purpose of CSV file and how to create a CSV file? You are going to learn this. So Python and CSV files. Python has a vast library of modules. As you know, library of modules means a set of library files which is in the software. So you have learned already many built-in functions, math function and string functions. So CSV means comma separated values. So a CSV file is a human readable text file where each line has a number of fields separated by commas or some other delimiters. So we are going to create the file. It is a text file and the file is going to have row and column and the row and column are all separated by a delimiters full form of csv comma separated values human readable text file separated by commas or some other delimiters So, fields and delimiters. This is the important concept here. How it is created. So, as we have learned the SQL row and column database, here a text file is going to be treated as row and column, and how the row are formed and how the columns are formed is going to be the interesting thing. So, before entering into csv file you are going to learn the difference between csv file and xls that is your excel file excel sheets so extension is xls file first excel is a binary file binary means you know your content is converted into binary format and it is stored It holds information about the worksheets but csv file is a plain text and the series of values separated by commas then xls files can only be read by applications that have been especially written to their format that means it is able to open in particular application like excel but csv file can be opened in Excel open office as well as in notepad so it is a added advantage then Excel is a spreadsheet that saves files into its own proprietary format that means it will have its own extension name and it is opened only in a particular application but CSV file is having extension as CSV but it is able to open in many text editors then Excel consumes more memory where CSV file has, uh, that means CSV file consumes only less memory. So it is also added advantage. So only nowadays all the applications are using CSV files. So it is an important question and also very easy to learn, learn well. As you know files saved in Excel cannot be opened or edited by text editors but CSV files can be edited. It's a simple file format used to store tabular data. Tabular data means it is going to have row and column just like our spreadsheet or database. A 
as it is a plain text it is easy to import and export and the storage also very less and it can be opened in many text editors but there is a thing that csv file cannot store charts and graphs but this also rectified in next uh, next chapters you will learn you will learn that but here as it is a text file we cannot store the charts and graphs and the one more question a csv file is also known as flat file then how to create the csv file for that we need a notepad alone just open the notepad create a new file by clicking file new option or control plus n shortcut key and here they are given an example topic 1 topic 2 topic 3 so the data and it is separated by comma that is very important so i am copying this content this topic 1 1 example 1 is a column and topic 2 2 example 2 is another column and topic 3 3 example 3 is another column let's see how it is going to be created it's a single row we have to save the file with the extension .csv and it can be opened in excel go to notepad i am pasting the content save the file i am creating a separate folder for the file and saving the file go to save as I am taking the folder. Going to have a folder as CSV. In that folder, I am going to save the file with the name sample. Dot CSV. In the save as type, select all files. Now save. Click the save option. Go to that folder. see the file it is looking like excel file but it is not a excel file it can be opened in the excel so it is having that uh, icon double click it's asking for the suggestion i'm selecting excel and giving okay Yes, the file is shown. So, topic one, one example, one, one column, and topic two, two example to another column. Can you see how it is easily splitted? We have typed the content in text file, but it is able to open in Excel and also with good format. the content given in the text file and this is the content shown in the excel now there is another content here or not 12 or not 1 nibeta these are a separate data but here mailapur comma chennai but mailapur comma chennai together is a single data but basically comma is treated as a delimiter but here this mailapur and chennai should not be separated so to make it as a single data the whole data is within a double quote so if you want to add comma in your data it should be enclosed within double quote this is the next step like with all the address which is having comma is enclosed with the double quotes this is important
this is the output of the first file so the commas that are part of your data will then be kept separate from the commas which delimit the field themselves and the above csv file you can observe the fields of the data were separated by comma but what happens if the data itself contains comma that means it should be within the quotes so we want a data like this or not 12 or not one nibeta file up comma chennai so how to type this content in text file which is having comma already as a data so it should be within double quotes So type the content in the text file. Save the file. I'm giving the name as sample one. Dot CSV. Select save as type. Select all files here. Click the save option. Now open the file in the Excel. There is a change. Why means as I copy the content, the double quotes is not in a proper format. Just change it. So be very be careful when you are copying paste. So check the double quotes, or else you delete the double quotes and you enter the double quotes in the text file. Sometimes because of the font type, it will be a uh, error. Just while you are copying from the textbook. So it is Pakka Mailapur Kama Chennai that is within double quotes. Then you will get the whole data in a single cell. Next one is how to get the content in the next line. So in the text file, you just type in the next line with the enter key, then it will be in the next line. Next, how to add double quotes as a data? First, we learn how to add a comma. If we want comma, it should be within double quotes. But we need double quotes as a data. Then it should be doubled. What is the meaning? Is the single double quotes and this single double quote should be doubled. How to do this? The internal quotations marks need to be doubled so that they can be interpreted correctly. See here, this double quotes is doubled. That means near the double quotes there are two more double quotes. Okay, all the addresses are, are having like this. So the output is double quote adaya comma chennai double quote. So comma also there, double quote also there. Now open the Excel file. Can you see that output? Just I want to increase the size. Expand the cell and see the result. 
So, double quotes, Mailapur, comma, Chennai, double quotes. So, your data itself having comma as well as double quotes. Okay. So, this is the procedure how to add comma and double quotes in the data. Then next line means type the content in the next line just using enter key. Then Excel, in the Excel sheet also it will be in the next line, double line. Just increase the size and see. As my love to buy, that means in the next line Chennai. Then Adaya Chennai, Gopalapuram Chennai. So how you type in the text file, you are getting the output in the Excel file. So you have learned comma, double quotes as well as double line. A double quote should be doubled. So you have learned how to create the CSV file with the comma with the double quotes and what is the use of delimiter comma. That's all for this session. It, may, it is an easy chapter. Learn well. Thank you. Have a good day.